Darius here. Uh, he puts out videos. Is that uh, How an do you effort? know Darius? I know Darius. <laughs> I, wa I, watch, I watch his videos. I watch. Recent people CEO. Yes, sir. Darius Sanders in the building. Recent people media. This is Darius Sanders. He's one of the, the people that keeps us popping and keeps our brand out there. In the What's up, Cordell? That's it, man. You trying to keep me this season? I wish. We back with Coach Shad in the building, Coach the Dick. Hey, the one and only, Coach Shad, Coach the Dick, back in the building, but. Yo. What's up, bro? How you doing, bro? Good, bro. Bro, y'all looking rich. <laughs> y'all looking rich right now. Hey, look like you finally got that little piece, though. Yeah. I got one on the way, too. I know you do. Yeah, what's going on? How you feeling, gang? Good, man. You got the tips on right now? You feel me? You feel me? Got the yudders on. Yeah. Man. Got the yudders on. I like it's it, bro. Year. New look for everybody. Yeah, I really peep. Nah, it's for real. It's a new look for a few people. Everybody look good, though, man. Excited to get to it. Though. Yeah. Stuff. Excited to get to the back. You feel me? Morning, 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 morning. Good morning. Morning, morning, morning. I'm excited, man. I'm elated. I am excited so much. The room is changed. The faces are smiling, right? Expectations is high. And I'm feeling real good. Good morning. 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 I absolutely love it. Because I really feel like this team is going to do some wonderful things. I'm not guessing. My expectation is of that, of that nature, that we're going to do some wonderful things. This room looks so darn good and it feels so good. And the expectation that we have in this room exceeds all thoughts that I think some of you have ever had. I don't know how many of you have actually won in your life. I know many of you have. But we're going to exceed those expectations you have of winning. We're going to go through and you're going to meet everybody today. I'm the DFO here. What do you mean? Director of Football Operations. Okay. Ray Force said, Chief of Staff. Pretty Tony is what they call it. <laughs> David Kelly, General Manager. What does that mean, Coach Kelly? What that means is I'm a support person for everyone sitting in here, from the head coach, coaches, staff, on, and most importantly to the players. However, we can help you all be successful. Uh -huh. Michael Pollock, Quality Control Analyst Offense. We work with tight ends and slot receivers for Coach Bartoloni. Gunnar White, Offensive Quality Control Analyst. I'll be working with offensive line. Gunnar, step in the middle first, please. Tell them, tell them, I like your new haircut. That's Thank the you. One. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, tell them what those intangible things that you told me when I first met you at Jackson, because I think everybody needs to know that. Well, I graduated from Jackson State with my undergrad, uh, HBCU grad here. Uh, I have three master's degrees, and I'm also a black belt in Taekwondo. I wish you would. Would try. Black belt. That's right. That's right. That's right. Nice to meet everybody. I'm glad to get to work. Ooh. Gabe Lid, defensive quality control uh, with the outside linebackers and safeties. Gotcha. Rashad Davis, assistant wide receiver coach. What's so, up, guys? Nate Dodson, offensive GA. I work with the quarterbacks. I'm <laughs> offensive GA, working with the quarterbacks. Guys, if you need anything to help you feel more prepared, come to me. Offensive staff room. I'm the guy sitting in the corner, but you need anything, come to me. I'm here to help you. Nate works his butt off. He's going to make sure you guys work your butt off. Yes, sir. Josh Johns, graduate assistant with defense. I'm with the linebackers with Coach Harper. Me. I'm Tracy Knight. I'm the, head, I'm the assistant to the head coach. Yes, my sister. I'm Tasha Stewart. I'm an administrative assistant. I pretty much do whatever needs to be done. Welcome. Yeah, Jockey. Jockey. Oliver or Jockey, uh, football assistant. Jackie, what's going on with your hair, dog? <laughs> hey, um, I'm Campo. This is Jack Gregg. We work Jack in the video office, aka Karen Talk. Yes, <laughs> If y'all need something with video, we're the guys to come see. We work in the same office as our uh, production folks back there. You'll see them all the time. So come by, ask us if you need something. Yeah, well, tell them how long we've been together, baby. Who? Since 85. It's a long time. Long time. I got the pictures, too. Right. You, you know you can't them, have careful, you pick them in. I'm good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm Corey Phillips, director of player personnel. Darius Darden Box, everybody call me Box, I'm director of recruit. 
I'm Malika Slayton, Associate Director of On Campus Recruiting. Talk to a lot of you guys in the room. Whatever y'all need in this transition, you know you can reach out to me. I am Alexis Ellis, and I am On Campus Recruiting Assistant. I'm Jordan Blake, Assistant Director of High School Relations. You know, help with the along that way. What's up guys, Chandler Durrell, Associate Director of Player Personnel. We know if you guys need anything done, uh, this is a group you can come get it done. David Riss-Press, I go by Coach Riss. I'm the Assistant Director of Player Personnel and High School Relations. So what you do really well that you have? Go get them dogs. That's, that's, that's all I'm going to get. You say that next time you get them, all right? There you go. I'm Maury Sims, Coach Mo, Director of Strip Edition. Um, really looking forward to working with you guys. Um, We'll go over the schedule uh, after we let our assistants come on. Come on up. Come on, Coach T. There you go. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Coach Brandon Reyes. Uh, super excited for you guys to be here. <laughs> coach R.T., assistant strip coach. <laughs> coach Steve in Houston. Anything and everything. We're going to win this time. The athletic trainer. Asian Lampkin, I'm a student trainer. Our job is to advocate for you for the health and wellness to keep you on the field, okay? So when you have something, come see us. We're going to be open up every day an hour before the weight room gets going. So if he has 7.30 in the morning lift, we're there at 6.30. Come see us, we're there afterwards. Two things that will never change. We don't have a job unless we're working with you. If we don't have you, we don't have a job. So use us, interact with us, get to know us. We're going to get to know you and try to get a good relationship with you. And the second, I hate being home in December, so let's kick ass this year and get, get a good, good bowl game. Yeah. We're pulling here. Most everyone in this room calls me Slate. This is my staff, I'm and ladies. How's it going, guys? I'm Luke Westhoff. Hello. Nice to see y'all. Hey, everybody. I'm Isaac Wilson. I'm Lee Anthony. We'll have a couple things for you as Coach goes through his program, but at the end of the day, we are here to execute Coach Prime's vision for how we show up every day, collectively and individually. And underneath that umbrella, it's our responsibility to make sure you have the tools and the equipment and the apparel that you need to be the best version of yourself. So we'll explain a lot of things to you as we go through, but that is what we are here for, and we're here to win. Hey, good afternoon, fellas. My name is James Cheney. I'm the Director of Player Development. I'll be making sure you guys get your education in place getting our community service done, doing what we got to do to become men and go to the next level. Thank y'all. Guys, right, so I'm Coach Trevor Riley. <laughs> <laughs> I analyze the special teams and we coach them uh, as, a, as, as a unit, okay? I, one thing I'll see, I've been with Coach Prime since the beginning. I love this guy. I believe in his vision. I think I can do anything when I'm around this guy. And I think that's the, this January, February, March, we need to take this to the next level, right? We'll talk about smart, tough, fast, discipline with character. For me, I want to see who's tough. I want to see you guys lean into some pain. And remember, all you new guys, you get a fresh start here. You can really make who you want to be from now on. Whatever you did in the past, why you're here, you can make your own future. Lean into those tough things, right? Do things you don't want to do. I want to see all of us get tougher. We need to get tougher as a team, and this is the time where we can get tougher together. We can see who's going to be our field generals, right? Let's go get him. Bust on three. One, two, three. Bust. Good afternoon, man. Good afternoon, man. Good afternoon. All right, well, I just want to talk to you, talk back. I'd like to have a little interaction. But I'm Coach Dancy. Um, going into my second season here, been coaching for the last 15 years, um, been a head coach, been a defensive coordinator. But I look forward to working with each and every last one of you, man. Um, everybody know what part of the season this is. We're going into grind. This is the this is the part this is the part of the year where you get better, where you take your game to the next level, and it's gonna be hard. It won't be easy. This is the part of the season where you grind, and we're gonna push you to be the best that you can be. Everybody understand that, right? Everybody know what you came here for. Everybody know the opportunity that's ahead of you. Take full advantage of the opportunity, and make sure you're not shortcutting it or cheating these guys that's sitting in the seat right beside you. Because everybody got to depend and trust everybody that's in it including the coaches. So make sure everybody's on the same page. Same page? Yes, sir. Same page? Yes, sir. Same page? Yes, sir. Same page. Yes, sir. That's it. Appreciate you, man.
morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. Mathis, the DB coach. Going into my second year here, five years of college coaching. I played 10 years in the NFL. You ain't going to hear me say too much. Not about talking, I'm all about action. All right? Let everybody understand that. All, no talking, all about action. That's all you're going to get from me. That's all I want from you guys, all right? Go Buffs. Go Buffs. Good morning, man. How you doing? Good. good morning, good morning. Good morning. Coach Hart, inside linebackers coach. Coach talked about something that's very important to me that I think that's going to help us get to where we need to get to, and that's building relationships. There's some new faces in here. So there's new agendas. There's new goals. It's a new team. We need to get together to make sure when we get in the mud, all hands on deck, all feet on deck. We don't leave nobody behind. You understand? Now, the other thing I want to make sure we understand, especially on defense, this is not a contact sport. This is a collision sport. I'm looking to bust those airbags and win championships. That's the tone. That's the expectation, especially in my life. <clears throat> All right, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I am Pat Shermer. I'm the offensive coordinator, and I have never been I've been a head coach twice. I've been an offensive coordinator numerous times. I've been a position coach. I've been a GA. I've been a player. But in all my years, I've never been more excited to start a year than this year. We have a, got a great group of players in here. We have a great group of coaches. We have a great group of a support staff. We have the people in here to go win a championship. We are embarking on our 2024 journey and we need to build. In order for us to become champs though, fellas, we have to become a championship team. And that's where it starts today. Let's put in the work, let's get to know each other, all right? Let's do all the things necessary so when we face adversity next year, we'll rip right through it and come out the other side better for it, all right? And keep winning games Saturday after Saturday until we win the last game, all right? Look forward to working with all of you guys. Again, appreciate your attention. Let's continue to have a great day. Hey, welcome, welcome. Coach Harold, some call me Coach Fleet. I work with the running backs. From day one, around here we talk about winning. Uh, we talk about winning. You're here for a reason. You were chosen because you are winners. So when you step on this campus and your mindset is about winning, on and off the field. Classroom, <coughs> weight room, in a dormitory, in the cafeteria, we win. We win, but there's levels to it. Like I said, that power of choice. When we say we want to win, it's by faith and belief. You have to say it, you have to believe it. So all you newcomers, believe that you're going to win. That's the first level. Then the second level, you got to accept it. You got to have ownership of it. You got to make sure that you believe in it. So now it's in your possession. So you speak on it, now it's in your possession. It's ownership. And that last level is understanding, appreciation, and never taking it for granted. Because you can never take for granted. You always got to appreciate the man next, next, that's next to you, not next to you. You can never take for granted that this team will be together next year. Through attrition, through matriculation, this team will never be the same team next year. So we gotta make sure that we step on the field from today, start today, that we understand we're gonna win. So in December, we're gonna continue to win, but it starts today. So the power of choice, speak it, believe it, as far as ownership, accept it. Just like you go out and get that corn talk, you make that decision, say heads or tail, you say head, that's your possession, you own it. So now you go down the field and you go down and score, you win that possession, that's your type of possession. The last thing is again, understanding and appreciation and never take this for granted. More to working with every single one of you. Um, doors always open to you guys, so whether you're offense, defense, special teams, and you want to talk about life, you want to talk about football, um, I look forward to getting to know every single one of you guys, and I look forward to putting in the work with you guys, because that's what it's going to take. It's going to take tremendous work. I hope we all understand that. And if you aren't ready to be held to a high standard in this room, then this isn't the place for you, okay? Everyone's going to be held accountable. Everyone's going to be held to that high standard, and that's how we're going to dominate this year. See you guys. I know, man. Phil Lowe, offensive line coach. Looking forward to working with everybody in this room, contributing to our run to championship. Coach Bill is something special. I'm happy to be here, happy to contribute, work with each and every one of y'all. You know, up front, we're going to set the tone. Our guys already talked about it. We know that we're going to set the tone, but I want everybody in this room right now to know that we're going to be accountable as a group. And it starts with me. You can lean on me. My door is always open. I'm up there on the third floor. Any of y'all need anything, come holler at me. Good afternoon, everybody. Jason Phillips, the new wide receivers coach here. I'm a man of few words, but I've been with this man a long time, and all of you guys understand something about him. He's a winner, and that's why all you guys have been chosen to be here. 
That's why all these coaches are here. That's why all the staff is here, the strength staff, the equipment staff, the training staff. Everybody's here to win. And that's what we're going to do. So everybody need to make your mind up right now. I think Coach Fleet said it perfectly. It's a mindset. You have to establish that mindset early. And there's no better time than right now because we're all together right now. There's nothing going to be determined next year without this group right now in the room. So we need to dedicate ourselves to each other. I can't wait to be of service to everybody in this room. And we're going to do things special this year. Thank you. You got anybody? We good? Zimmer, call me Coach Zim. I'm going to be helping out Trevor with the special teams and Coach Brett with the tight ends. What's up, fellas? My name is Cordell Grundy. Go by Coach G, and I'll be working with the running backs and Coach Sleep. Anybody else? Guys from last year's roster that could come up here and let your new teammates uh, understand what we're talking about when we talk about being smart. You may not think it's the, you know, the most important part because you came here to play football, but it applies on the field and off the field, um, whether it comes to your classes, showing up, getting your work done, but also spending time on film, making sure you understand your plays, because if we can't trust you to know your assignment, we can't trust you in the classroom, we can't trust you at all. So being smart is the most important, in my opinion, um, but you know, it's, it's the first one for a reason. Hmm. So I say um, things ain't going to always go your way. Um, you just got to push through it, man. You got to trust the process. You know, go to work and put your head down. Fast. You got to be able to process things fast, be able to operate fast. Think, think with attention to detail, for real, and just be able to process it fast. Being disciplined, I'm a specialist, so being on the field, you got to be able to do your job perfect. We don't have really, really any margin for error. We're trying to set it well, but it's doing the little things right. It's making sure you're here on time, being accountable for yourself, and making sure you know what the play is, know what you're supposed to do. Character. That's why I love this sport. Um, teach you how to be a good man, a good son, a good brother, and uh, being a good man in the classroom, treating women well, and uh, being a good man in the community in everything you do, so that when you're done with football, because we all will be one day, you can be a great man in that. Putting the team fly, sound, handling your business, do it for your brother, just lean on each other, just come together and be a good teammate and a locker room guy.